Hey guys, this is the Fort Worth Glock guy, and I thought I would share a um, flashlight that I recently picked up, and I've been waiting on doing a little overview on this um, because of a part that I had to order that um, I knew it needed to be replaced, so I've just been holding off on um, filming this. But anyways, this is the Quantum D2 flashlight. And as you can see, it's a very small flashlight. Um, you know, this is going to go on my uh, keychain for my car. And what it comes with is the flashlight. It comes with a 10180 lithium ion rechargeable battery, which I think is really cool. Um, it comes with a USB charger, a spare O ring, and two triangle key rings. And the triangle key rings it comes with are two different sizes. There's one that's a larger triangle and one that's a more narrow triangle. Um, and then of course the um, charger itself is just a USB so it can be plugged in anywhere that you've got USB capable uh, capability to charge it. Um, you know whether that be on your computer or in your car or wherever you have a USB port. So very simple to charge. Um, it glows blue um, to show that it's charging, so it's um, kind of a cool little design. Um, and what makes this flashlight very unique and what really attracted me uh, to this flashlight, other than its size, is the um, light itself. And the way that this works is it's got uh, infinite variable uh, light mode, uh, which means a lot of the lights you either click it or twist it and you have to twist it multiple times to get it to go to different modes like low, medium, and high. Um, this one is a twisty as well, but what makes it unique is the more you twist it, the brighter it gets. So if I want a really low mode, I just don't twist it very much and you can see that it's just barely glowing. And then the more that I twist it, the brighter it gets. And it gets extremely bright. I know, you know, flashing this in the lens is not going to show up um, as well. And um, I've seen a few other people's reviews on these. And what kind of concerned me a little bit um, about it was I, I did hear people having problems with this. But I knew exactly what the problem was. So as soon as I decided to go ahead and order this, I also ordered the part to fix it, because it's very simple actually to fix. <clears throat> the part that we're talking about is this little square and it's called a QTC. And the QTC goes inside, I wish I had a flashlight to show you, um, there you go. Um, there's a little square inside that is held on by a just a little magnet. And all I did was take a pair of tweezers and pull it out which was, this is the old one, and I don't know if I will be able to show it to you in any kind of clarity or not, but you see there's a little bit of an indention there, and I'm not sure if that was the problem or what, but what I went ahead and did was I ordered three new ones because they're like $1.50 each, um, so I just went ahead and, and ordered three in case, you know, one of them went out again, I had a spare one, so um, I ordered the one that's in here, and then I had two additional ones. Um, they took a, a couple weeks to get here because they are coming from Taiwan. Um, but I figured, you know, I, I'll go ahead and replace the one I have, and I'll have a couple spares, um, you know, just in case the problem creeps up again. But as soon as I put this in, it fixed the problem immediately. Um, to go ahead and show you the battery, this is the 10180 lithium battery. It's kind of an oddball battery, um, but it is rechargeable, so that's kind of nice. Um, and the threads on here, I don't know if it's going to pick it up again, there it is, um, are very fine threads. And I mean, there is no way that this is going to come accidentally unscrewed because you have to twist it quite a bit to even get it to the point of um, the light mode even coming on but as soon as you turn it enough see there's just barely like moonlight mode and then you can just gradually 
step it down or step it up. There we go. And this thing does get quite bright. So like this is just like moonlight mode and then stepping it up. And I'm not quite sure exactly um, what brightness level this is. Um, I can tell you that it is extremely bright and for something that I'm gonna throw on my keychain, this is definitely gonna um, do a great job. Now, um, one thing I can tell you just on, on those few seconds that I've had it on, um, it does start to get a little bit warm. So this is not uh, something that you would want long term, um, but for what I'm gonna be using it for, you know, if you drop some something on the floor, um, you know, just pop this on, um, either in your car or right outside your car. Um, you know, you can look around and then just turn it right back off. Um, but again, what I really, really like about this is just the degree of being able to turn it on moonlight mode or just gradually stepping it up um, towards its, at its full brightness. So anyways, just wanted to share that little um, flashlight with you. Um, I think brand new, these are uh, a little bit um, kind of expensive, which is why I've, I've not um, really gone after one, but um, this one pop, popped up on the used market and um, for a used price, I, I did feel like, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and, and pick it up. Um, for brand new price, I don't know if I would do that or not, but um, again, you know, with it being used, and I knew the condition that, um, you know, the seller uh, who I bought it from took care of it, so I wasn't concerned about that. Um, and I knew that this was an issue so that, which is why as soon as I went ahead and made the decision to buy this, I went ahead and picked these up. Um, and since I've replaced that little QTC, um, it's been in, it's done great. So anyways, um, just wanted to share this little flashlight with you. I think it's a really cool looking flashlight. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it also kind of, it glows. which is also a nice little feature. I think you can get those in um, some different colors as well. So anyways, just thought that was kind of cool. So thought I'd share that with you. All right, hope you're doing well. Fort Worth Clock Guy, out.